Okay, uh, it's Christmas, <laughs> it's the season of giving, and I got you something for Christmas. Okay. And I know it's something that you love. Okay. Okay, so I want you to open it. I, I, I think actually, <laughs> You are gonna love this. I know you love this almost as much as you love Karen and the girls. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Wow. Go ahead. No, I, actually, I think <laughs> I think you actually love it more than Karen and the girls. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What is it, Dan? <laughs> you are an ass. <laughs> Morton Salt, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Morton Salt. No, 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 no. This is no laughing matter. This is an intervention. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you realize that Dan Cashman salts his food before tasting it. Wow. Guilty. He does, okay? Who's with me? Does your anybody energy. else do that? Put Round your of applause, hands down. Please. Round of applause no. for yourselves. Thank no. you. Thank no. you. No. This you. is just wrong. The reason your voice sounds like that is because of your salt consumption. <laughs> I got a text message from your arteries on the way that says, OMG, this is no LOL. Stop it. Okay? <laughs> so, as we finish the holiday season and we begin the time for New Year's resolutions, I challenge you to stop salting your food before you taste it. And let's cut down that salt consumption, okay? Right. And for now, you can use this on your salty, on your icy walkway, okay? Right. Well, thank you, Rick, that's very kind of you. Um, that's your water there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have tasted it before you salted it. <laughs> You are uh, emceeing the annual awards for the Greater Bangor, uh, or Bangor is, Region Chamber of Commerce. It is such an exciting today. time because, and I'm sure everyone in the audience realizes that the first ever arts, uh, it's the salt, <laughs> <laughs> it's the first ever arts and culture award presented by the Bangor Region Chamber of Commerce, and the judges have given it to Dan Cashman and The Night Show. Yeah. Very proud. It is gonna be it's going to be terrific. It's going to be a good time. And now, I'm not supposed to say anything about the videos that we produce, but I will tell you one thing. There's a person we're trying to reach to reminisce about you being the fat intern, and Imus has not yet responded. <laughs> You've got to know Dan to know the story of when he was the fat intern working for Imus in New York City. Yeah. And that's for another show. That, that is for another show. Anyway, it's going to be it's, it's going to be a great. It has time. to be an HBO show because there's lots of cuss words involved. It is. Yeah. So you, uh, you how many years have you been doing this now? The this Chamber is going Awards? on the eleventh. Wow. Oh my word, we had to cut off an arm and count the rings to count how many times. <laughs> I think this is the eleventh year that we have done this, and we received the nicest compliment from someone from somewhere away that wrote. Uh, it was they actually wrote a letter. Wow. A letter, and they said, "It's the closest thing you guys have to the Oscars." Aww. What are you laughing at? No, it's, so for people who haven't been, Rick, you, you, uh, you host a lot of uh, events, and um, you do it, be, I think, because uh, you, love, you love doing that kind of thing, but also you're a, a gifted entertainer, and I don't think there are many people that can bridge that gap between, <laughs> it's, it's just water, okay. between entertaining and, and broadcasting, and you do it very well, and you keep that show uh, Were you visited by three ghosts last night? I was. I was visited <laughs> by three ghosts. Is that why he's talking like this?